Debbie, tell me about some of your clients and how come BGB has been so successful in the past and constantly getting new clients. Well, we're a travel specialist and we formed 15 years ago and our mission is to really be fully integrated into the travel industry and understand all the issues that our clients are facing and help them to overcome them. So it's not just, we're not just a, on the sidelines of our clients' businesses, we really get under the skin of the, the issues and the opportunities and become a strategic partner. So we've worked with clients like the Caribbean Tourism Organization now for 15 years. Um, we've worked for the Passenger Shipping Association in cruising for more than 10. And it's incredibly important that we understand our clients' businesses almost you know, as well as they do and that we're thinking ahead on their behalf. So that's, I think, why we, we've become a, a travel specialist with such a broad range of clients in the UK. I think a lot of the, the shift in the travel industry has become moving to segmenting to new audiences because the web gives that absolute brilliant opportunity for a small supplier in a destination to reach directly to a potential traveler in another. And what's really exciting is how really small communities around the world are reaching out to promote themselves in the travel industry. They don't need to use the big intermediaries anymore. The intermediaries are there, but they're looking for added value, things that set them apart from their other businesses. So they're offering exclusive tours, exclusive arrangements. But as a small supplier, if you're a small community-based tourism operator in Namibia, for example, there's now a real opportunity to reach out to the world. And that fragmentation of the market is causing opportunities as well as risks everywhere. So I see a lot more work happening with our destination clients in terms of supporting the smaller B&Bs, the smaller rural economies, and I'm, I'm really excited to see that happening. It's a real shift in what we're working on as well. Sounds like a lot of sustainable tourism involved here. There is a lot of sustainable tourism, and it's not just the, the big boys that have woke up, the small guys that are waking up to it. The big companies are also focusing really heavily on it. Well, I'm... I'm We've always been a passionate support, supporter of sustainable tourism and so we work for Friends of Conservation which um, is a charity which is very much integrating sustainable issues into smaller tour operator practices and small projects around the world. We work for the Travel Foundation which is the UK's leading charity to encourage the industry to promote sustainable tourism and it's got a range of really exciting projects from an adopt a farmer scheme in Tobago through to um, a, a food and farming project in Gambia or community-based tours in Thailand. And it's very exciting after three or four years to see these interesting projects now being replicated on a much wider scale. I'm also a judge in the Virgin Holidays Times Responsible Travel Awards, which are being announced this Wednesday at the show, um, judging an endangered species category. And again, that's an area I'm particularly interested in. And it's, it's going to be very interesting to see how sustainable tourism has moved on and these, these award winners are really great examples of best practice.